I bet you didn't know Agatha had a super powerful pet that was strong enough to take on Skyfather Hell Lord type beings like Mephisto one on one for a little while. But it is noted that the cat ain't strong enough to fight Mephisto one on one though, you know? You got Agatha, who got her own little community of magical sorcerer witches type characters, New Salem, which New Salem, which exists in a parallel dimension or alternate reality, technically, so they can truly be on their own without being disturbed by the outside world. I bet you didn't know powerful magical beings like Agatha can put overpowered beings like Franklin Richards that's above Skyfathers to sleep when his powers were starting to go on the fritz, thanks to her vast magical psionic telepathy type of power but that's none of my business let's get into it though you can see right here the right intent for our power she's even putting the discussion is one of the earth's dozen or so most powerful witches yeah just a little clearer version than i already said agatha has second sight which lets her probe far beyond the range of mortal vision super senses magic type characters is nothing new to my channel agatha is a magic user witchy type character that's pretty high up there on the food chain when it comes to other sorcerers and stuff surprisingly we've actually seen her in live action she's actually classified as a witch leader of new salem the general population does not know that she is a witch she lived in a time where anything that was supernatural everybody thought it was like witchcraft and was scared of it centuries ago many practitioners of ancient religion gained occult powers and they were persecuted as witches and warlocks the most infamous series of witchcraft the people that was guilty of this stuff was held in salem in the late 17th century they eventually decided to gather together and found their own community in isolation from the rest of the world even when as far as building their own town in an unsettled portion of what is today the western united states they actually held a grudge on the many years they were persecuted the members of this new community named their town new salem they never to involve themselves with the rest of humanity again it was so extreme they became extremists to the point where if you were to associate from anything in the outside world you would be sentenced to death of course these laws changed because she was the most powerful sorceress in new salem Salem was supposed to be a place where the outside world wanted to allow. She's so good with magic, along with being the most powerful of them in their little community. No, I wasn't kidding when I said that their community is ancient. About 600 of them. The fact that powerful beings that I have videos about on the channel like Scarlet Witch go to her for her opinion or expertise in certain areas when it comes to magical type stuff. So you know she got experience and skill. Since she's a magical being, your standard stuff like physical strength, physical durability, and raw speed are irrelevant to her because she has spells to make up for that type of stuff like shield, stuff to blast. She has her own pet named Ebony. The pet is quite helpful in battle and it can shape shift, but I'm going to get to that stuff later. For example, with a simple thought, her own spells can dispel curses. That was a barrier. The military and the heroes of the world could not get through. And she just walks through those same spells. Of course, a mother has the power to dispel his curses, right? Just because you have something sealed off doesn't mean she simply can't unseal it. Wanda animated a chair. Agatha simply undid it with her own spell and she has no shame in deflecting spells to shoot at her right back edge the seven salems agatha is so mighty she can just depower them she even strips her own son of all the magic because they abuse their power making you a mere human like you despise she's a magical being so of course you can't be a magical being and not be able to mad or manipulate turning beings into stone right or simply talk to you through stone like a statue talking to you but it's really her as an avatar she can do elemental blast power stuff like summoning water against electric type beings as you can see even summoning a massive wall of flame so you can't leave if you want to using the flame from a candle to blast you with it storms that wouldn't listen to thor agatha uses some spells to make it stop and the storm ceases implied to have some sort of telekinesis to break metal restraints with a simple gesture just like that or even while not being near you she can take control of your car without permission her blast power is so epic she can just create a mystical tornado to blast with she's one of those characters that can do almost anything you can think of when it comes to versatility for example there's been plenty of occasions of her scaring people with illusions to use illusions as disguises to disguise her home can surround beings like Sue Storm with illusions, with stuff from your own mind, and can make herself look young and beautiful with her disguise. Even if you're another dimension, guess what? She can teleport you to her. One can say she has super speed. She can use her teleportation to avoid attacks, teleporting miles away. This is basically like having super speed, using it as a flame. Or one can say dematerializes and turns into flames and then flies away. Come to my location suddenly. Teleporting Franklin Richards. She could teleport her and the Fantastic Four all the way to the negative zone back to the real world. Yeah, she could just get away with a simple gesture. She can do rituals like allowing human torch and the thing 
to fuse with her to allow her to be able to speak with a watcher. She did a ritual to summon millions of illusions of Reed Richards to confuse Annihilus on this particular occasion. Ritual to force you to tell the freaking truth. One of the king's <coughs> immortals. <coughs> Ritual and sell him to cleanse the town by transferring the power to her, kind of like on some fusion technique stuff, becoming one with her to cleanse him that way of Salem. Classic witch type stuff like using crystal ball to spy on people no matter where they're at or to find their location will find you even if you're in another dimension. Yeah, that's like a witch starter pack when it comes to crystal balls. She banished the witches of Salem to stay in the place and they can't leave. And made it to where they literally can't leave for years. And she can banish people and she can banish things that's like hurting people away too. So if you're getting sick from something, she can banish the thing that's making you sick. Psychic constructs get banished. It would be weird if she didn't have magical resistance to stuff. Like taking point blank blasts without just getting obliterated instantly. This blast, she supposedly got knocked out, but not really. It was just a test. And blasts like this. They stay blasting through my spell like she got some type of protection up all the time or something. Because I don't see nothing around her right here. Magic people always have some type of ability where they can look into your head. So she has telepathy and can tell when you're withholding information. And in whatever secret you're keeping, she can just read your mind to discover the secret. Psychic force that was affecting Silver Surfer's mind, she can resist it thanks to her magic type stuff. That's why she can communicate with you miles away. Franklin Rich's early days when his powers were manifesting. Tell me why when Franklin was going crazy, she was able to put Franklin Richards to sleep. Like, bro, what? Even though it was just for now, that's still insane when it comes to Franklin Richards. I got a video about him, man. For her to do this is insane. She was a helpful aide in helping so that Darmamu couldn't invade Wanda's mind long enough for Wanda to do her job. She can even mind wipe the entire planet of a recent event. She can put you in a trance like a statue like this. She's one of those characters that I can honestly say it's hard to catch her off guard thanks to her mystical senses and awareness. One could say cosmic awareness. Like she knew a Carlisle McGraw before it would happen. She's aware of disturbances and she knows whether or not it's a serious threat or not. She knows when somebody's approaching the house. Something not even the Avengers sophisticated alarms systems can detect. She knows when you need an exorcism. Stuff just ain't feeling right. Can detect your presence even if you're invisible by sensing your hatred. She can sense the source of something to track it better. And then she got weird spells you can't really explain. Like taking you on a journey of half a millennium of experiences in an instant. She creates a barrier that contains the virus that messing up Silver Surfer. Also keeping it from going anywhere else because of a protective field that contained the alien virus within him. And is literally burned to the stake and actually killed and returned as a spirit. And after the time passed, she, even though she was dead, was able to resurrect herself. I shouldn't have to say this, but yeah, she can give herself extra durability. When people like Firestar try to blast her, she can shield from it with magical shields. She's even helped Wanda on occasions bind different beings. She can magnetize the wall and take out a possessed war machine. She even animates war machine's helmet itself saying, speak metal mask. <laughs> Are you kidding? She sealed off a room saying, no sight or sound shall escape this room. Miss Harkness cast her spell to keep the others out but it will likewise keep me in and the others won't even know this is happening she can cause you pain from ridiculously long ranges even if you're not even near her she can blast you and she can just make herself have tea when she's bored despite new salem being in another dimension technically she is able to simply shift it to our dimension or earth's dimension just like that with a simple thought and has done it more than once not to mention she can just summon force that can just disperse invisible woman's shields just like that and if you need to get a message across, she can just project your voice across the entire planet and do it in every language. And then we got to talk about the trusty pet that's also very mighty that can shapeshift, which I mentioned earlier. It has its own different forms. It can even eat bullets more than once. And it even held off Mephisto so the Avengers had time to get away, letting you know she had a mighty pet. Look at the different modes this thing can change into. Her cat is mighty enough that his claws are slashing Mephisto to ribbons. And the wounds heal really quick, though, because Mephisto's a Hell Lord type being. It's kind of cosmic type of character despite all this it seemed like ebony healed pretty good though even though it got supposedly turned inside out this cat could be like her muscle that can be helped fight and it also has super senses to where if you're coming to the house or if you're about to get ambushed the cat knows the cat senses things along with agatha you see it by her side this cat companion can be used as a mystical anchor to help her do stuff she normally wouldn't do be able to do on her own so she can travel to a dimension she normally wouldn't be able to do. This trusty pet can even awaken an unconscious Scarlet Witch. So it's very helpful in combat. If any of you have your doubts about how powerful Agatha is. Well in more recent ish stuff. Working together with Scarlet Witch. Agatha and her. And these magicians take on a cosmic being together. Chaos. To really show 
that Agatha has a ton of blast power as well, as well as being one of the most versatile characters known to man. You got to respect her. I mean, the panels speak for themselves, right? What else can you say? Respect Agatha, but that's just about going to do it, everybody. She doesn't have the most showings. Do you think she's one of the mightiest witchy type characters? I think she's up there, but what do you guys think? She's definitely up there with Wanda, Strange, and them. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you all think. But before I get going, thanks for the donations, guys. Respect Agatha. I'm glad you are enjoying your time on the channel. Make sure you check out the playlist on the channel to see other How Strong videos. If you like what this channel is offering, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys later.